Thank you for joining me on another North Norfolk church crawl. Today I'll be walking from the largely Victorian and later seaside resort of Cromer down the coast past a golf course to Overstrand where I'll visit St Martin's Church and then it's three miles back along the same coastal route to Cromer and then back to Norwich. This is the beautiful church uh, dedicated to St Martin at Overstrand. Uh, in their popular guide to Norfolk churches, D.P. Mortlock and C.V. Roberts say of the building, it is a rather confused mixture of rebuilding and restoration. The roof of the original church collapsed in the 18th century and the nave was partitioned, leaving the east end and chancel to decay. Then in 1859, a small church, Christ Church, was built on the site and this was in use until summer congregations outgrew it. In 1911, the old building was restored, rebuilt and enlarged. Now, we have the original 15th century tower and a nave, a new north aisle and chancel, and the old north porch was moved over to the south side. On his Norfolk Church's website, Simon Knott says of the church, the only colour comes from a vibrant east window depicting Christ in majesty with St Cuthbert and St Martin, accompanied by otters, dogs and ducks above scenes of Durham and Tours cathedrals. He also says this window isn't signed, but wonders if it is the work of John Lawson. The chancel also has some fantastic ironwork, which I believe was donated by Lady Battersea, who was one of the Rothschilds. <laughs> 